what's going on today we're going to learn about UDP and TCP now UDP is user datagram protocol um, TCP meaning transmission control protocol the differences here is TCP guarantees your data arrives so it holds on to a copy it sends it if it doesn't get confirmation back it sends it again UDP it sends it it doesn't care if it arrives boom 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 next if you haven't downloaded uh, Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express, go ahead and do that. Um, plenty of examples of that on the web. And go ahead and make a new project, and we'll call this TCP Server Tutorial. Okay. And uh, go to your toolbox. Oh, it's good. Plug my laptop in here. with me and let's go and just chuck a simple text text box let's go just a text box for now um, go over to properties I'll right, just leave it as that and we'll go to multi-line true It doesn't need to be pretty. And let's chuck a button in there. Flick over. Oh, let's call it start server. And B start server. Okay, uh, double click on your form, get over to the code, save, and let's continue. So first thing we're going to want to do is import a few things. So let's go using system.threading, because once again, um, we can't do comms on the, the user interface because it will block it. So let's make a few threads using system.net using system.net dot sockets using system.io uh, that should be good for now and alright flip back over and just double click on your button here so it should bring up a event listener and what we're going to want to do when we click the button is we want to start a we want to start our server. So we go TCP server run. We'll just make a wee method there. Go private void TCP first thing we're going to want to do is we want to open up a TCP listener uh, what this is going to do is it's going to sit there and wait for another TCP client to come in and try to connect to it so we've got to do that in a thread TCP listener We'll just call that TCP listener equals new TCP listener. Um, now this is asking, it's got a three overloads. You just put a port, an endpoint, or an address and a port. So let's go IP address dot any and select the port. Let's use five. 004. Okay, so basically what that meant is IP address any is just looking for any IP address endpoint. Um, and the port is the, obviously the port we're going to be using. If you don't really understand about ports and IP addresses, I suggest maybe having a wee look into that. Um, 
but just a quick example is my computer here it's got a IP or well, local router IP address of 192.168.1.5 and um, it's got multiple ports so you can have a oh, how do you explain ports <laughs> Basically, a port is just a number you select that it will be listening on this particular number. So if a client comes in and he's looking on port 5004 and you're listening on port 5004, it's just a way of meeting up and it's all nice and pretty like. Uh, then we want to go TCP listener dot start. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to be doing this in a thread. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. So let's go thread TCP server run thread equals new thread new thread start and we'll go TCP server run server run thread dot start okay now so that's opened up the TCP listener now we want to go make a while loop here while true TCP client client equals TCP listener dot accept TCP client oh, sorry. Um, what this has done is it's make it a TCP client instance up for that accepted this is going to block until it finds a connection Oh no, in fact this is going to start listening for connections and then once your connection is found it's going to come in here and it's going to accept that connection and make a TCP client instance for it. So once we've got that client we're going to make a new thread TCP handler thread equals new what we're going to do here is a parameterized thread start so this is just like a thread but we can um, pass it a parameter and we're going to call this TCP handler then we go TCP handler thread dot start and this is where we pass the parameter and we're going to make that parameter client so we pass this client in to the thread which we're just about to make and voila oh object client so obviously if we're passing it a parameter So I forgot to check in the, um, the thread constructor here, so new thread. Alright, now just to go over again what's happened here, we've clicked the button. Uh, when the button is clicked, we're going to start a new thread which will start listening for incoming connections. When a connection is made, it's going to start a new thread which will handle that connection and then it will loop back and accept any further connections that have been waiting if you just wanted to make one connection you wouldn't make this in a loop um, but moving on so so if we just look at this client here TCP client in Client equals TCP client 
client in client dot git stream will return us a network stream so stream, network stream let's call it stream now oh, put a parentheses uh, make another wee while loop here true and and here we can go stream dot read stream dot write um, that's obviously where we would output and input our data if we were constantly streaming say video you'd oh sorry excuse me um, I'd probably make a different thread for sending and receiving that way you can send uninterrupted and yep yeah. uh, we'll make the client side and then we'll hopefully do something useful with this so peace out